Hey guys, this is Elazor and welcome back to the second and final part of my medic tutorial. It's going to be about movement and reacting as a medic. It should sum up the most important things to keep in mind when you want to get past the casual level of medic. Don't miss the quick tips at the end of the video. These are additional tricks that shouldn't be missed. Before that, let me give you some quick corrections after the first part. I did forget a couple of things that I will review right now pretty fast, so buckle up and let's go. The Amputator is indeed a nice weapon, but I forgot that a while ago they made it so that now you have a minus 20% damage reduction. The overdose will make you run faster for every percent your overcharge grows, but only when the weapon is held. Vaccinator also absorbs all critical hits of the selected damage during the overcharge, and it heals the melee every time the right damage is hitting the player you are healing. Now what is movement? For a medic, it's your ability to know where and when to move somewhere. Map awareness is a key factor here. Medics are often the most targeted players in a game, especially in competitive TF2. You are what keeps your team going, so you need to be careful about what you do. Get to know the maps, where the health kits are, where you can hold or fall back, where you can be safe to regain your health. All those things should be what you need to learn first. You need to have the longest life, try to avoid being killed by not overextending into battle. For example, you will see this cliff right here where I'm hiding behind my friends that are protecting me by taking damage. Quite often I see medics standing in front of the players they are healing. Now this is not what you want to aim for. Always stay out of sight from your enemies as much as possible. If the person you are healing is jumping in a pack of people without you having a full overcharge or just not enough health, do not join him, just fall back. It is always better to wait for the right moment to attack rather than dying because you are just following someone that is not protecting you. You have the speed, you have the health regen, so do not just stand at one place and start running around looking for people needing you. Just avoid open areas, you'd be an easy target for snipers. To finish on this part, I will try to explain the two ways to play the medic. Each of them have a lot to do with movement. You can play as a roamer or a pocket medic, but choosing one doesn't mean you have to stick with it all the time. Feel free to adapt to the situations. A Roma medic will be the most important part to master in this video. You can heal people, so why just stick with one heavy? Keep overhealing everyone around you to give an ass advantage against the enemies. The Roma should be on the lookout for people in need of your service everywhere on the map. Once someone is full on health, just take a look around to see if you could heal someone else. Imagine it like you are the link between all your teammates and you need to switch to another player once the last one is ready to go. Now the pocket medic can be really effective but there is always a chance to mess things up. Pocketing someone means to stick with only one player and following him around. Making him able to attack the enemy team a lot more to pressure them and get many kills. Well this is fun to do when playing with friends Almost all medics doing this do not care at all about any other teammates. Being a pocket medic does not mean you can't switch players. You can see in those clips that I am pocketing someone, but it doesn't do much damage at all. I quickly understand that I am wasting my time here, so I try to find someone else that could be more effective with the medic on his back. If friendly players come running at you in need of healing, just help them. It gives you a faster overcharge too. Keep watching to the end for additional advice about playing as a pocket or raw medic. Alright, we are now starting on the last part of the video. Reacting as a medic. After spending hours playing each class, you will notice how your reaction will be different when facing a particular class. For example, when hitting someone that is fighting a demon and spamming his stickies or grenades, you need to react quickly in order to avoid being damaged by rolling pipes that may come explode next to you. Or the moment you see a friend that is close receiving a headshot from far away. Your first reaction should be to get into safety as soon as possible. The reaction time of the medic needs to be the sharpest 
Be always ready to switch your target when the situation requires it. Let's take a moment here for this example. There is right here an engineer that is holding up with a sentry gun. By the time I see that, I should already be thinking about what class could be the most effective to destroy it with my help. Avoiding pyros or light classes, that's what you should do. But some of you might be thinking now, how do I know if people need my help? Well, it's simple. If you don't have enough time to check by yourself, players have the possibility to call for medic. It will display a message in a text box and a red cross icon over the person in need of help. If the icon is all red, it means that this person is really low on HP and requires your full attention quickly. Open your ears and your eyes to react fast to friends and enemies around you. Another thing I want you to know is about spies. Spies will often target you first and most of them will be disguised as friendly when doing so. If a friendly player comes running right towards you, always face him and check first if he's a spy or not, because turning your back could be the last mistake you do before getting styled. Some of you might be familiar with the popular phrase, pop it, don't drop it. This is so important to remember. Once your overcharge is ready to go, it is always better to pop it rather than dying and losing it. Always be ready to use it before your target receives feather blows or when someone is about to kill you. Hopefully you will take good notice of all those things, but mainly it's best to go and try that by yourself. Choose wisely who to give you overcharge to. Before ending this video, I have some advice I need to tell you that did not fit in any other part of this tutorial. So I decided to make quick examples of those. During an overcharge with the stock medigan, you and your target can still be pushed back by sentries sometimes preventing you from dealing enough damage to destroy it. Sentries fire at the closest target they see. So to avoid the person you are hailing from being pushed back, jump in front of him right before using the overcharge. The sentry will keep firing at you while your target will be free to do what he wants. When you are pocketing someone or just running back into battle with a friend, ask him to hurt himself if it is safe to do so. It will make your overcharge meter charge faster to be able to fight back quickly. This is used very often in competitive as well to counterattack after being killed. During any kind of overcharge, you can very quickly switch targets to apply the healing effect to multiple targets. This is very effective when used with the stock medigan, as it makes more than two people invincible to enemies. To do so, simply start the overcharge, then switch between the allies you want to make invulnerable. It is best used during a hard push with your team. And it also gives you an achievement. <laughs> now the final one, but maybe the most important advice. When the round is about to start, you need to overheal all of your team before they start fighting. You can understand pretty easily how big of an advantage this is, and yet 90% of the medics I see do not heal everyone before a round. It gives all your team more health and it makes everyone happy. For example, overhealing classes like soldiers and demomen allow them to jump quickly when they go out of spawn without risking them to die from the damage they receive. So please, for everyone's safety, heal your buddies before the gates open. There you go guys, I might have missed a couple of things here and there, but what really matters should have been said here. Remember that the more you stay alive, the better the medic you will be. I hope you liked the video, as always please leave a like or a comment and subscribe for more videos. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.
I'm not going through. <laughs> You're too fat. Oh, you went through, obviously. Uh, what are you doing? I'll be real sneaky. <laughs> the sneaks. God damn it. Sorry. <laughs> You lose!